What up, folks? G Funk here. Um, just wanted to say uh, talk, I haven't talked about New York sports in a while. I've been mostly focusing on wrestling. So uh, I said I think um, you know spring training doesn't really mean much to me, uh, like you know, unless like, you get severe injuries. So far, both the Yankees and Mets look okay. Like I said, there's still some games left. They still have a couple more weeks till the season starts. So uh, like I said the Yankees look good. Uh, their pitching still, the start pitching still gonna kind of make me nervous, but. If they're scoring a ton of runs, I'm not really worried. Um, the Mets, on the other hand, they need their starting five to stay healthy. Um, in order, to, I think they'll be able to compete. Will they make the playoffs? I don't know. Um, in their division, the only team I see them really competing with is their Nationals. Um, Atlanta might give them something, but I don't really. They've always given them the Mets problems, but uh, <clears throat> they're still kind of figuring out a way. They've been rebuilding pretty well, the Braves. Um, but the other two teams, uh, you know, the Phillies and the Marlins are definitely re or in, a, in rebuild mode, so uh, <clears throat> the Mets got a shot. Like I said, I don't think they, you know, they're, it's not as good as maybe some other teams, but uh, but they'll probably be competing a lot with the Nationals this year. <clears throat> the Yankees, like I said, that lineup, as long as that lineup stays healthy and our pitching can give us, you know, six innings and get us to the bullpen, the Yankees are going to be really good this year. Um, are they going to go as far as they did last year? Who knows? Uh, as long, Like I said, health, you know, injuries. You know, as long as they don't lose any big names, either in the lineup or in the rotation or in their bullpen for that matter, the Yankees will be good. I think they'll be able to compete. You know, Houston's a team to beat. They won the World Series last year. And they're the ones we lost to in the ALCS. So, if we can compete with them, I think the Yankees got a good shot at going all the way this year. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up. Like I said, last year was just a surprise. Like, no one expected this team to do what they did uh, as much as I did. You know, I, I, you know, they looked good. On, you know, they looked really good with a lot of young guys. But you didn't know, you didn't believe how well Judge was going to do or Sanchez was going to be. And, you know, D, you know, the second coming, you know, and Didi showing uh, a new life and, and Severino, Severino pitching really well, and the you know, bullpen being amazing. So, like I said, if that can all come together again this year, the Yankees got a really good shot at going far. Um, the Knicks, I've given up. I don't know. The Knicks need to, to get rid of Hornacek. They need to draft that one guy or sign that one point guard who is a game changer. That's it. They had the choice. As soon as the Knicks get a good point guard and surround him with some tough ass defenders, the Knicks should be like the Knicks of the, of the 90s, and they will, they will definitely make it to the playoffs again. Excuse me. But they, like I said, they, uh, up until then, until now, they're, they're just a sucky team. They're just a team that's, you know, they're not even going to get a good pick in the lottery because they're still, they still need to lose the rest of, they need to lose the rest of their games and have the teams in front, behind them to win their games in order for them to get at least get a lottery pick, which I don't see that happening. So they're going to have like probably the ninth, eighth or ninth, tenth pick in the draft, which is going to be nothing again because unless they freaking draft someone good, you know, that was, that's available, like they should have done last year, so they get Neil Aquina. Like I said, Neil Aquina to me, he's, he's not it. He's a great defender, that's it. He's not a scorer. He's not a game changer. He's not going to make the Knicks a championship team. And, you know, with, with Porzingis going down, they've been, they've been, you know, like I said, they, they, they suck. Tim Hardaway Jr. and me, not that good. Yeah, he, he's streaky. He's a, he is the John Starks slash, uh, J.R. Smith of this, of this team. He is, you call him J.R. Starks, or John Smith, because that's what he is. He either he's really hot, or he's ice cold. That's it. And he doesn't put back to back games together. You need a consistent guy like like they should. They should have got Kyrie Irving. They could have got Isaiah Thomas. You need a guy who can take over a game, no matter what. Either get your guy, you'll get one of your other guys who's superstar the ball, or you get to step up your game and score, and help win the game. They don't have that guy. They haven't had one in years. They haven't had one ever. When's the last time they had a good point guard? Tell me. Because I, I would love to hear anyone's suggestion on who the last... If, if someone tells me, uh, Derek Harper, I'm going to throw up. The Knicks made it to the show. Grant Derek Harper wasn't great, but he was a leader. That's the only reason why the Knicks went as far as they did that year. But they didn't, they didn't have anyone to... They, but they had someone to, to... You know, he wasn't he wasn't the guy who was going to... You know, they, they left it all on Hewing. Hewing couldn't do it alone. That was the problem. He Hewing was Batman, but he had no Robin. Hence why he never won a championship. And if he had the one point guard who was a superstar, and everyone's like, oh, John, no, John Starks was a shooting guard, and he was not a superstar. Granted, he was good. The, everyone's like, oh, well, the dunk on Jordan. Yeah, what they do? He did a dunk on Michael Jordan's guy. Who gives a shit? Did we win the championship that year? No. So, like I said, uh, hockey, I heard the, the Rangers, I, like, I'm not a big hockey guy, the Rangers aren't doing that great. Um, they're, they're rebuilding. Um, the Devils, I think, Herschel got a shot. I'm not sure about the Islanders. Like I said, I don't follow hockey that much. But, um, and, uh, football. Everyone knows I'm a Jet. I'm a Giant fan. The Jets have a couple of big decisions. Um, they play well this year, but they, I'm telling you, they're not, you know, they need to sign a big quarterback or draft a quarterback. Um, are they going to throw money at Kirk Cousins? 
don't know. Uh, Kirk Cousins has been getting offers from Minnesota and Denver. I think he's going to Denver, honestly. If he, if, you know, look, look what John Elway did and convinced the freaking Peyton Manning to come to Denver. What happened? They won a, they won a Super Bowl. So I think he's, he might go to Denver. If not, he could go to Minnesota. Like I said, I don't see him going to the Jets unless the Jets offer him a really good contract with a signing bonus or something or an option year or any kind of really good incentive. I don't see him going to the Jets. The Giants. Um, they're the number two pick. And this makes me super nervous because the Giants haven't had a number two pick in eons. We got a new guy running the Helmand Gettleman. I don't know. I everyone's saying they're taking Barkley. If he's there, I I, I think Cleveland's going to take him because Cleveland's got pick one and pick four, so they can either draft Barkley first and then f- still get one of the other quarterbacks. So to me, I, I, like I said I haven't. Been, I, I watched a little bit of the combine. I didn't watch you know a lot. I watched a little bit of the combine. I'll tell you right now, Rosen didn't impress me. Um, I, you know, I don't think Baker Mayfield and the other guy were there. Uh, Dar- I don't think Darnold was there, but I did saw Josh Allen. That kid can throw a fucking football. He was throwing ropes like 50, 60 yards, like really good. His accuracy isn't great. It's not terrible. It can be worked on. It can be, you know, it, it definitely can improve. Um, I would take him because. I don't see Davis Webb being the future of the Giants after Eli retires. I really, really don't. Unless they, unless there's something behind closed doors we don't know about as Giant fans, I don't see. Unless Davis Webb is going to become Jesus Christ after Eli leaves, who knows? We Davis Webb could be the freaking greatest unknown back quarterback in the history of mankind, and we don't know about it. Like I said, we never seen him play in a game. We seen him play garbage time games. Has he been great? No. Has he been terrible? No. Is he the future of the team? I don't think so. If you're going to draft Barkley, you better pray to God that this guy's going to be a Hall of Famer because running backs are very, there's very few far between running backs who get drafted this high and become stars. You know, So I'd rather draft the quarterback and go sign a running back. There's a, a pretty, uh, DeMarco Murray's free. I don't know if, I don't know if, if anyone, I don't know if Le'Veon Bell's time with Pittsburgh yet, but I would love to see Le'Veon Bell in the giant uniform. I'll tell you that right now. Or DeMarco Murray for that matter. DeMarco Murray's not as good as he used to be, but he's still a manageable, serviceable, serv- serviceable running back. And, you know, and he can catch passes out of the backfield as much as I would, oh shit, I would give my left nut to see Le'Veon Bell in a giant uniform. Will it happen? Probably not. Um, but he's, he's, he's been the running back the last couple of years. And, you know, we're not getting Todd Gurley anytime soon, who's been amazing the last couple of years. But if you're going to draft the running back, you better, you better, if you put the house on Saquon Barkley, there's other guys out there. The guy Chubb, the defensive end, he's a good pass rusher. Um, that offensive lineman from Notre Dame, he played all five, all freaking five, uh, you know, offensive line positions. That's good. That's, that's a guy who I want because our offensive line is garbage. Man, we signed a couple guys. We don't know how they're going to pan out. You know, you know, you got a young kid who can play left tackle, right tackle, but both guard positions and, and center. Shit. I, you know, I I take him, but like I said, is it, you know, is it really going to help us down the line? If you can protect Eli and then get time to throw to Beckham and Shepard and Ingram, yeah, you're gonna. Go, but you have to have a running game. You have to have a running back who's going to balance out your offense. And if you don't have that, because Eli can't throw the ball 50 times a game like some of these other guys, like Brady and Rodgers. Uh, you know, he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't have that kind of arm anymore. He's 37, going to be 38 next year. Eli's on borrowed time. So they got to do, uh, the Giants think they're sh- going for broke. They're going for everything, trying to get as many guys in here. The Ogletree signing was huge. Would he give up a lot for him? I think he's good. He's young. He's only 25, 26 years old. That was a great signing. Is it going to help our defense? Yes, because our, our linebacker crew is not great, and he's going to help it a lot. And it's going to help that defense a lot more. Granted, the defense was good last year, but this is going to make it a little bit better. Um, otherwise, folks, join me tomorrow, 1 p.m., uh, my Wrestle Talk show. Uh, Mr. X will not be there. Um, he has a prior family thing uh, commitment. So my new my co-host for the day with my my boy Jay Breezy um, at 1 p.m. We'll be talking the five greatest. He's gonna do his top five. Do my top five greatest managers, w, uh, wrestling managers of all time. Um, watch me uh, on my new YouTube channel, Wrestle G Funk Wrestle Talk on my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe, please, and join us tomorrow. One, if you have any questions, questions, comments, emails. Email me at jerrygman2376 at yahoo.com or WrestleTalk2018 yahoo.com. Folks, I got to go. I'll see you when I see you.